Okay, so we are doing the Ganyu trial. We will be aiming to kidnap her and do some testing on her. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, so we're done talking to Xiao. And we kidnap Ganyu. We kidnap her. We do some frame testing. Is there only time to do some frame testing? Let's go. Let's go. No! Where's Ganyu? We can't actually use her. That's so sad. Hey guys, in this video, I'll be discussing my thoughts on Ganyu and Chongyun, where Ganyu is Chongyun's support in a Shatter Team composition, and what Chongyun provides for Ganyu as a main DPS. So, this video is dedicated to those wondering if they should roll for Ganyu or already have rolled for her. After several discussions with other theory crafters looking into Ganyu and what I know about Chongyun, the main point we've derived at is yes, you can run them both together. However, they aren't the most efficient ways to get the most damage, nor are they the most effective ways to improve your Chongyun damage output and vice versa for Ganyu. Obvious points I would like to mention, Chongyun's cryo conversion doesn't affect Ganyu's normal attacks, so her normal attacks don't turn into cryo. Chongyun's E doesn't increase Ganyu's attack speed as it only benefits uh, Sword, Polearm, and Claymore users. And finally, Ganyu is primarily wanting to run a charge attack build anyways, so having Chongyun's E doesn't really help Ganyu as much. Let's start off with Chongyun as a main DPS, with Ganyu as a support. So based on my calculations and video submissions from Kirisame, a member of the Chongyun mains community who has kindly provided testing footage of Chongyun and Ganyu, as I currently don't have or own, nor plan on summoning for her, if we calculate the effective crit rate with Ganyu's burst active, Xingqiu burst active, and Chongyun in his cryo field performing normal attacks, we get an effective crit rate of 33.85% at C1 for Chongyun. So to give some context, if you haven't watched my cryo set video already, uh, the base C1 effective crit rate for Chongyun C1 with Xingqiu is 21.54%. If we want to increase that, we add Chaos Burst and that jumps up to 30.77%. So although the effective crit rate for Chongyun Xingqiu Ganyu jumps up around 12% from the previous 21.54%, Kaya does as good and is more free to play friendly with a jump of a 9% effective crit rate with Kaya Burst active. So that's 9% increase in crit rate for K with Kaya and 12% increase in crit rate with Ganyu. From these calculations, we can say that yes, Ganyu is a better support than Kea. Number 1 for the increased effective crit rate and number 2 longer burst duration at C0 comparison. However, I wouldn't recommend going for Ganyu if you haven't already because aiming for Ganyu at 0 pity is essentially $350 which is a lot of money, just for the small increase in crit rate. I would like to add, yes, Ganyu provides additional cryo damage from her passives and more damage percent at C4, but it doesn't make up for the damage loss of running Ganyu as a support rather than a main DPS, which brings me to my next point, which is, Ganyu is a better on-screen main DPS than Chongyun. The Ganyu mains community has done some frame testing and arrived at the results of at T1, 180 motion values per second. This 180 motion values per second is for Ganyu's charge attack including all the levels and bloom damage. You can compare this to Chongyun's C1 value at T1 which is 110 motion values per second. We should note that this 110 motion values per second does not completely scale off talent level and only the 80% motion values per second out of the 110 motion values per second does scale from it because the additional 30 motion values per second comes from the constellation 1. So just from that, we can already determine that Ganyu is way better as a main DPS than Chongyun uh, will be because of number 1, raw motion values per second and number 2, the difference in scaling. For additional context about Chongyun scaling versus Ganyu scale, scaling, 
We have a 154% motion values per second for C1 Chongyun at T6, while we have a 252 motion values per second for Z0 Ganyu at T6. So the jump from a T1 comparison is 70%, increases all the way to 98 motion values per second at T6. So my recommendation would be if you have Ganyu and you want to run her as a support for Chongyun, go ahead. However, you aren't benefiting as much using Chongyun than if you were to use Ganyu burst support with a Klee, Bennett, Diluc, or even Razor. There are so many other options aside from Chongyun, and if you were to run Chongyun with Ganyu, you're essentially hurting your damage output when compared to other characters and team synergies. Currently, the highest da possible damage output for Ganyu is for Wanderers with Amos Bow and two Pyro supports or other supports who can help create a persistent Pyro aura. Overall, Ganyu is the best Cryo character we have in the game uh, currently, and similar to Chongyun, with the right supports who provide persistent Pyro, and I repeat, persistent pyro so that can be Klee, Venti, and Fuse Pyro with another pyro character it is possible to triple melt charged attacks and if you were to refresh enough quad melt which is basically two charged attacks with one rotation of pyro application setup however do note that this application setup takes a lot of time and every time uh, Ganyu is not on field you're losing out damage so that wraps up my thoughts on Ganyu I wouldn't pull her just for Chongyun, but I highly recommend her as a replacement for Chongyun for the support role, or Ganyu on another team as the main DPS. Make sure to give this a like and a sub, and I'll see you guys sometime soon. Take care. Huh? Person standing over there. That's Ganyu. We finally found her. Where's Ganyu? What the heck? Oh, it's there. This looks cool. I don't have Ganyu. Let's try Sucros. Hey. Dude, she doesn't like Chongyun. Jeez. Oh my god, she doesn't like Chongyun. Alright, let's try someone else. Let's try someone else. Let's try Zhongli. What shall we do? Try Razor. Let's try Xiangling. Okay, who else does she not like? Thanks, Zhongli. Okay. Razor too? Xiangling, okay. Are you kidding me? 